Good morning and happy Sabbath. Uh, we want to welcome you to the Fort Myers Seventh Adventist Church. And um, just um, inside your bulletin, there's a little flap that if you fill in your information, we can keep you uh, notified of things that are coming up in uh, our church. And our church is very active, so you might miss something if I don't have your email. Our first announcement is uh, the First Impressions team is going to have a potluck right after church in the Family Life Center, which is our gym. Uh, and anyone who would like to join them is uh, free to do so. Uh, they're looking for more people to greet uh, and give a good first impressions to newcomers and those of us have, that have been in the church for a while. Pathfinders are having an induction at 6.30, that's where they uh, accept new members into the club, and they're having a ceremony uh, at 6.30, so come and support them. Uh, Platform 25, our own Pastor Ridge uh, Garcia is going to be having a panel discussion this um, uh, Friday night for uh, Platform 25, and uh, the title is Let's Talk About It. So pretty much we want to talk about current things, what's happening as Christians. What are we doing as Christians? So come fight it Friday night and uh, you will have a, a feast. A food festival. Uh, Brad has asked for volunteers to create your dishes that you love to cook. Uh, Courtney, his wife, uh, loves cooking Greek. They're not from Greece, but she loves cooking Greek. So if we can have volunteers to cook your native land or like uh, Courtney, she enjoys uh, cooking Greek. Dr. Deal is coming Thursday night, uh, October the 24th, which is two weeks. Uh, on a Thursday night to present a health uh, topic uh, during the CHIP program in the Fellowship Hall. And I'm excited about uh, Ashley and Jeff Perry. Uh, they're having a Reformation celebration for kids. Now, um, I can't read that, but you can. Um, they're gonna have games, um, a medieval meal, and uh, the kids even get to create their own shield and take it home. So that should be fun. And then the next night, November 1, uh, it's uh, the Reformation celebration uh, for families. Uh, it's talking about how Martin Luther set the way or paved the path by, by his faithful observance of biblical truths that paved the way for our church. So that should be very interesting. If you've ever been to a presentation uh, with Ashley or, or Jeff, uh, it is amazing. So you don't want to miss it. At this time, um, let's turn our, our Bibles to Hebrews 11.1, 1, and I invite you to stand if at all possible. have my glasses. The fundamental fact of existence is that this truth in God, this faith, is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. It's our handle on what we can see. Hebrews 11, 1. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify your name. We are grateful for your plan of salvation, for Jesus dying on the cross so that we may become his righteousness, not because we earned it, but because we believe in Jesus. We thank you for your blessings to us and ask that you take us home with you soon. For we ask this in Jesus' holy name, amen. Now, before you sit down, uh, oh, I had one more uh, prayer that I hope all of us can uh, 
to do silently. The pastor is having a memorial service for his mother, uh, Cindy, today at 5 o'clock um, up in Mayo. So uh, if we can just have a silent prayer for the Jones family. And before you sit down, please welcome those around you and, and uh, make them feel welcome in the Lord's house. you make your way back to your seats, remain standing, and let's sing Victory in Jesus. Good morning. Today's offering is for the Voice of Prophecy Ministry. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Of course, probably the most famous verse in the Bible, John 3.16. In Jesus, God has given us his best gift. From this act, we learn that giving is central to God's nature. God gave first in everything. God gave the best in Jesus Christ. God's giving saves us from eternal death. When we give, God also expects our best, whether it be large or small. 
Sister White wrote, quote, The Lord does not need our offerings. We cannot enrich him by our gifts. Yet God permits us to show our appreciation of his mercies by self-sacrificing efforts to extend the same to others. This is the only way in which it is possible for us to manifest our gratitude and love to God. So giving is an act of love. It is a way to show that we care, evidence of our trust, and an exercise in our faith. So the appeal today is, am I offering my best to God? So the deacons, please stand for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, you have given your best to us in Jesus. You have given us life through your Holy Spirit. May we honor you through our giving, through our gratitude, and through our worship today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Pastor Jonathan. At this time, it's uh, the children's story, and uh, we invite the children to come forward and collect the offering, uh, the lamb's offering.
Good morning. Where's the lamp? There's a lamp. Look, you can put it over there. All right. Thank you. Whoa, did you guys have a good week? Hi, Erica. How are you? Welcome. Did you guys all have a good week? Do you guys go to school? Yes. Okay, good. Did you have a good week in school? Right, so I have a question for you. Who has a pet? Jake is the name of your pet. What do you have? A dog? What's his name? Capitan. Okay, what's your pet? A cat? What's the name of the cat? Mia, that's a pretty name. You know what? I... Okay, you want to tell me what's your pet? Oh, wow, a dog named Ginger and a cat named Gabriella? All right. Well, you know what? I also have a dog, and he's a big dog. He thinks he's a little dog, but he's, like, really big. His name is Diesel. I'll show you the picture. You can look. This is the name. This is... My doggy, his name is Diesel. Yes, and you know, he's really, really big. And he likes to play a lot. And you know what? Since he is so big, he likes to what? Eat. Yes. And this one is a combo with chicken, liver, and beef. Ew. Oh, and you know what, Tom? I served Diesel. I served Diesel the food. And he sits really, really pretty because I'm like, Diesel, sit. And he sits there. And then I give him the food. And he looks at this food, and he's like, I know. You know what? It stinks really bad. You guys want to smell it? No. no? Come on. No? You don't want, you don't want to smell it? Oh. Okay, so now I need a volunteer to see who's going to eat this food. <laughs> Don't worry, parents. I'm not going to let your, eat, your kids eat the food. But you know what? I have a volunteer at the house. And I told him that I would give him cake if he ate some dog food. But I'm not going to punish him. I'm going to give him a smaller cake. He'll eat, where's your, there, he'll eat the stinky food. Go on ahead, honey. Eat the stinky food. Aha. Uh -huh. And you know what? Sometimes when my doggy eats the food, he comes to mommy and he's like, <laughs> and his breath is all stinky. Let me see. Probably he has a stinky breath to eating that, that, that dog food. But you know what? Listen, I got a valuable lesson here today. How many of us sometimes in school have kids that kind of stink a little bit? Or wear some clothes that is not so good? Or sometimes they act a little funny. Yes, yeah, sometimes we are irritating to our friends. But I'm, I'm talking about special kids that not everybody loves them because they're either strange or they don't dress that good or sometimes that stink. And you know what we have to do as kids? We 
remember that what sets us apart is that we have the love of God in our hearts. And we have to show these kids that we love them in spite of everything. Okay? And we have to be friendly to them and show them what Jesus has done in our lives. So let's learn that even though sometimes, you know, probably somebody's going to stink, we still, even though he's stinky, I'm still going to love him, right? Okay, for the ease, this is not dog food. It's, it's refried beans. We just changed the labels. <laughs> okay, I need a volunteer for prayer. Okay, let's close our eyes. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for everything. Bless our one and bless our God. Please help us to share the love of Jesus. Amen. Okay, you can quietly go to your seats now. Thank you, honey. like Christ died and was buried and was resurrected we go through the same process when we're baptized we're let down in the water we're buried and that old self dies and when we're brought up we're resurrected into a new life in Christ filled with the Holy Spirit and that's what this song's about just like the power that brought Jesus to life, brought him back, is the same power that lives in you and me, and that's the Holy Spirit. Those who are able, stand with us, and let's sing Resurrection Power. You called me from the grave by name. You called me out of all my shame. I see the old has passed away, the new has come. Now I have resurrection power, living on the inside, Jesus. You have given us freedom, no longer bound by sin and darkness. Living on the light of goodness, you have given us freedom. I'm dressed in your royalty. Your Holy Spirit lives in me. I see my past as very deep. The new You have given us freedom, my chains are gone, freedom, you have given us freedom, you have given us freedom, hallelujah, now I have resurrection power, living on the inside, Jesus, you have given us freedom. You have given us freedom, no longer bound by sin and darkness, living in the light of your goodness, you have given us freedom. 
I count on one thing. The same God who never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Oh, yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy. Count on one thing, the same God who never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out, working all things out. Oh, yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. card. Come and sing with us in Christ alone and find my glory. In Christ alone I place my trust and find my glory in the power of Psalms 5, verse 1 and 2. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. If you're willing and able, please kneel with me in prayer.
O oh, great Heavenly Father, creator of all things, we come before you in awe of your greatness. We know you're a loving God, and we humbly bow down before you. We ask for your forgiveness as we continue to strive to forgive others who have hurt us. We thank you and we give you praise for the miracles and the love you've poured out for us. You're a great God and nothing is impossible for you. You love us so much, you sent your one and only Son, our Lord and Savior, to die so that we may have eternal life. We come to you today to praise and worship you. And Lord, if it be your will, please heal those here with us today that are sick and hurting. Lord, please bless Dr. Shukavaj as he brings us this week's sermon. And lastly, Lord, please bless the hearts and the minds of each one of us here today so that we may grow closer to you and be ready for your soon return. In Jesus' name we pray. In Christ alone, I place my trust and find my glory. Source of 